What's up, you guys, and welcome to Read the Room. My name is Chase the Dark Sage, and today I'm your host for another Jojolian read through. And this is going to be the second to last episode of the Jojolian read through. That's right, that means the next episode will be the last one. And this is crazy to say, we will be on Jojo Land very, very soon. But it's time to get into today's reading. We're not going to give too big of a synopsis because that last few chapters that we just went through with the bubble going through the phone with Yasuo and we hit Toru, the fight's not over yet, though. The fight is not over yet. I'm waiting to see what all is about to happen in these next five chapters here to come. But before we get into it, make sure you hit the subscribe button and like the video if you have not already. And go ahead, check out the Patreon. Lowest here is a dollar. You can see pages weeks, weeks, weeks ahead of time and I'm blurred. So with all that being out of the way, let's go ahead and get to today's chapter reading. Chapter 106, Go Beyond. So I see that we actually don't have the same name that we've been going through before with the whole wonder of you thing uh for your love or whatever it's called but we got josuke and soft away on the front let's go ahead and get to going all right we're in the hospital we see nurses walking gone okay we see them walking okay something fell out oh something fell out of wait okay so the vending machine i guess got hit possibly maybe by a bubble that josuke accidentally shot off I don't know, but we see that, you know, there's a big hole in the vending machine and there's some soda coming out of it, but it is steaming. So let's keep going. All right. So now, oh, they're on the same floor as Josuke and Josuke in the elevator right now from um, Oblata, Oblita. I don't know, whatever the little rock organisms thing name was. But all right. So it looks like we're going back to the shot of the thing coming off the airplane about to hit Yasuho and Joshu. All right. Josuke. All right, so now we see the bubble coming back out of the phone because we're kind of going back to what we ended off with in the last chapter. And now we see the bubble hitting Toru. What? Uh-oh. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Okay, he's just looking. Whirl. Swell. Oh. Oh, wait. This is like a Rasengan. I don't know why, but this is like a, a mobile Rasengan when Naruto throws it kind of like the Rasengan Shuriken. But now Toru's looking down. This has to be like, I, I really want to make this the cover of the thumbnail for this video i might do it i don't know future chase i don't know what, what, what we're gonna do i'm trying to avoid spoilers whenever i make these thumbnails but it's so hard to avoid some spoilers because some manga panels just deserve to be the thumbnail itself but let's keep going all right so whoo, oh wait he's going flying because of that all right so now it looks like the calamities effect on the little airplane um thing is now kind of like missing yasuho a bit all right so now we see oh this said to flying but wait 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 if oh my gosh look at the damage that the uh piece of material from the airplane caused to the house that is insane but look at also toru in midair just flying and we see paisley park right there and joshua just on the ground being useless as usual all right so now we see this going through the house all right okay so we're going back to mitsuba holding sarugi i'm trying to see how we're going to solve what sarugi is going through right now all right but we're seeing that the house is getting broken all right and uh we see the other two siblings okay so this is interesting let's see where this goes right here all right so now everybody else went flying as well ah, it didn't hit me i was spared from the calamity is it because toru was distracted he wasn't like entirely focused on it all right so now she's looking back on the phone josuke oh all right josuke's on the ground uh oh hospital doctor sir oh oh yeah he got hit real nice i forgot about him is something wrong all right so now he's just walking ow oh because she was about to pursue him technically by asking something about him and going towards him to see if he was okay okay that affects the calamity all right so now he's going down the escalator right here it feels like wonder of you is its own person sometimes i don't know it feels like it's its own city being working with toru more so than it being just a stand itself but let's keep going what's going on josuke i know this is something you did but what was it all right so josuke is still being overtaken by this rock organism now he pressed the button all right looks like he got the phone yeah yasuo chan all right, can you hear me, Yasuo-chan? The Gashikata State, the Yuzutoru, is he still there? Josuke, the thing you just saw, it's this thing that sort of comes out of my left shoulder. I can't control it or aim it at things with it. All right, but it has an invisible spin. Mm, spin. But I'm glad that it's not so overpowered to where Josuke can't control it because he's been doing it subconsciously. So the fact that he willingly knows that, oh, I can't control it or aim it. So, you know, I just got to have a look at the draw type thing that invisible spin i mean that invisible thing went through the cell phone along with paisley park to where you are it went beyond the calamity energy and made it to the stand user toru it's all thanks to you being there i was only able to send that invisible spin from my left shoulder there by taking the path created by paisley park okay so that's what i was assuming because i know the bubble just can't transfer through things by itself I obviously knew it was paisley park that helped create that path that way the bubble could transfer 
or travel with Paisley Park itself. Let's keep going now. Paisley Park? Is Toru still there? All right, she's looking around. Josuke, yes, he is. He's injured and he's collapsed on the ground. He was sent flying, but he's still right in front of me. Is he alive? Huh? Uh-oh. <laughs> is he moving? Huh? Um, yes, he he's alive. He's on the ground and he's injured, but I can't tell how much damage he's taking. <laughs> it looked like a lot from the way he went flying. Okay, I'm going to shoot one more at him. Don't let him get away. We need to finish him off. <laughs> I know, I know we're not gonna finish him off because we got five more chapters, but I can imagine the anticipation and the hype built up in this chapter right here as a monthly reader. Gah! All right, so Toru's trying to get up. You need to let me send uh, the finishing blow to Toru. He's the source of the logic. I need to point the screen of self, oh, what? Point the screen of cell phone you're holding at him. Okay, that's weird. I need you to point the screen of cell phone you're holding at him. One more time. Uh, get away? <laughs> yeah, yeah, so chan Josuke, you've got the wrong idea. He's not trying to run away. He's got an awful wound on his left side. He's bleeding out from the hole made from your attack, but he's walking. He got up and he's walking this way. See, I'm kind of surprised that Toru has as much, I don't want to say endurance, but um, he has a tolerance for pain because no one ever gets towards him. So I feel like things should hurt him a lot more than a regular rock human because I feel like the rock humans, at least the ones that were kind of like grunts, little minions compared to Toru, I feel like they should have more of a tolerance to the pain because they kind of been in the field fighting. You get what I'm saying? I mean, I know they haven't been fighting left and right like that, but it seems like Toru has never had to fight anyone because the whole stand of him having calamity and no one to review, I feel like his tolerance should be like very low for pain. So I feel like that kind of should have maybe like really, really injured him or knocked him out or like psychologically like hit him somehow. That's how I feel though. Let's keep going though. All right, so now he's coughing up. He's, Toru is moving straight towards me. Uh oh, wait, he spit something out. No, <gasps> he took the last of the Rokoka. Oh, 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 this is about to get crazy. The new Rokoka. There were two fruits on the branch on the potted plant before, and I ate one of them, but the small other fruit was still on the branch. Wait, so does it mean Sarugi and potentially Holly are going to die? Unless they use the new Rokoka serum. I don't know. Let's keep going, though. But Toru's walking back towards her. It was still small, but he's eating it right now, and he's walking towards me. Okay, so it wasn't ripe yet itself. So what are the effects? of an unripe Rokoka or new Rokoka. Mm, let's keep going. He must be trying to use the equivalent exchange to heal his wounds in exchange with me. He's trying to touch me. Oh, Josuke's looking. Yeah, so John, listen, in order for me to hit him with another attack, I need your Paisley Park. Paisley Park can bring my invisible spin through the cell phone to your end. I can't aim it or control it. Oh, <laughs> what do we have to do? Unless the spin is attached to Paisley Park, there's no way to transcend the logic of the calamities. All right, so now Josuke's looking around. He started running. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, don't you dare come near my Yasuo John. Oh, I just feel sorry for Josh. <laughs> That's all I can say. You ish eating B. Take this. All right. So now all the nails are. Yeah, the, the effects of Calamity. I knew Joshua wasn't going to get a clean hit on him. But yeah, all the effects of Calamity are coming out. And now this little metal or steel thing just hit Joshua on the head. It looks like a gutter. So where the leaves kind of come out of. It looks like it hit Joshua on the head. Mm, it looks like a clean shot is that. Man, he is not making Nut King Call look good at all this whole part. I'm going to just say that right now. All right. So now Yasuo's looking. Tor's about to touch her. Oh, man. I need to say he's a park's Oh, <laughs> wait. What's this area that we just cut to? What's, what's that area right there? It looks like some showers, though. Let's keep going, though. All right, so now Josuke. Oh, that's Josuke in the hospital. He's going towards the shower. He's jumping in the pool, which is weird. Is he trying to get the rock organism out of him? Or maybe he's trying to sink it down to that way it could kill them. I don't know. Okay, it looks like they're actually floating off. Okay, point it at him. I need you to point the, your phone screen at Toru. Oh, now we see the bubble coming out, but... I thought Josuke had to send other bubbles out for that one to come out. So does it just come out automatically without him sending out other bubbles? Can he control it? Because how does he know that that one came out at that one moment? I'm assuming he sent other bubbles out too. That's what I'm assuming. I'm assuming these bubbles right here are created from... No, because that's the breathing from the organisms. All right, let's keep going. I'm, I, I need to stop trying to find the logic. All right, so now we see Paisley Park creating the path, it looks like. Oh, Toru grabbed the phone. Ah! Oh no, oh no, now he touched Yasuho. Uh oh, now it hit Toru again, you dummy. I wonder if that phone was on speaker and he could hear everything. If so, he's an idiot for running into that, literally. Uh, but yeah, uh, the bubble hit Toru and Toru just taking the blow right there, pause. Uh, sheesh, this is not looking good for Toru right now. Let's keep going, oh, it hit him in the neck though? Ooh. Come on, Josuke, can we send like some more out? Like, can, can we send like, you put more bubbles out and more of the secret shots come out, the invisible spins? Oh, come on, we, we need more of that to come out. Take that, soft and wet, go beyond. Oh. 
I didn't know what the chapter meant at first. I didn't know what the name meant. But, ooh, that's kind of hard. Soft and wet go beyond. Can he control it though? That's kind of hard. I need some DLC for ASBR, the game, the fighting game. I need to be able to have like a DLC Josuke and the Jojolian. Oh. They did different moves up because he's way more developed now compared to the beginning of Jojo. Man. Let's keep going though. That bubble doesn't exist anywhere in this world. Oh, it's kind of weird because it's like it's dimension hopping, but it's not. But it's transcending the logic of this world. I don't know. This whole bubble thing is still kind of weird to me and it's still kind of foreign to me. I'll say that it's very foreign concept for me, but it's also still like going beyond the logic of this world. I, I just need to see if Josuke can actually control it at some point because that would be very interesting to see where he lies within the strongest of the JoJo's itself. All right, but now Tor got hit in the neck and the Invisible Spin is taking its toll on Toru's neck right now. All right, oh, mm, looks like they took a mean bite out of Toru. Oh, Toru went flying into the windshield of that car right there. Okay, so now Yasuo's looking, Joshua's looking, Toru's just on the ground. It, it worked, Josuke. Yeah, you, got, you just gotta trust the boy. You just gotta trust the boy, Josuke. He's gonna get you out of that trouble right there. All right, so now Toru's getting up. All right, Yasuo's looking, but, but he's still, this looks like the grandmom. Well, technically the mom, K uh, her name is Kato. Okay, uh, uh, Kato-san, the mother of the eldest son, Jobin? Wait, she's the eldest. She's the mother of all of them. What do you mean the, the, the mother of the eldest son, Jobin? They all didn't have different moms. Oh, okay. <laughs> but it's weird to see her randomly coming out. And I did ask like earlier in these parts, like, why did she get introduced and she's not coming back? I'm like, that's kind of weird, but it's going to be very weird to see her in these next upcoming parts because her character has not been developed at all like that besides with the Jobin flashback which we still didn't get enough of but I wonder how she's gonna react to Jobin or maybe she's looking right now and crying because she knows that Jobin has died she doesn't know how he died but she knows that he has died this guy's the enemy right here so yeah oh this is getting intense let's go ahead and go to chapter where are we? chapter 106 let's go ahead and go to chapter 107 chapter 107 when all curses are broken Okay, and we got Kato on the front right here, grandmother. All right, so I mean, this kind of spoils that like, you know, we kind of knew that she had a stand ability because everybody in that guy's got a family has a stand ability, but this kind of spoils the reveal of when we do get it. But I do like the fact that we see the actual theme of stuff being called kings and all that type of stuff, and the playing cards actually taking like an effect right here or the imagery itself playing into the stand ability. Let's go ahead and see where this goes though. All right, soft and wet go beyond oh oh so we can't control it though oh and it's weird though because it's like we got a new ability but that ability has technically been with us the whole time we just didn't know about it but it seems like he has a control over right now all right let's see where this goes though all right so now josuke is walking at least he got the other rocks off of him hey he got the one thing off of him too he got the uh initial rock eye patch thing off of him all right so now we're going back to holly oh now he's remembering everyone that died we got k right here then we got my boy Ray, K and Ray. That's kind of weird, but let's keep going though. All right, so now we see the hospital damaged right here. All right, so now it's funny because this isn't like a huge battle to where like it's always like involving other people and people getting in the way. It's always like something like from the last part to this part, or it's always something like very contained kind of like you get what I'm saying? Like not a whole bunch of people are around to actually witness the fight. And it's just so small in comparison to what else is happening in the city itself, but not a lot of people are here just to see like all the damage that's being done in this fight or from this fight. All right, so now we're getting the view of the city right now. What's he going? Kato-san. All right, uh oh, Kato's looking, she's crying. She's looking down at Toru. Uh oh, Toru's getting up. That boy is bleeding profusely. Uh, Inka no Mazame potatoes. What? What? Okay. Toru's looking, Yasuo's looking. You peel and cut that variety of potatoes. If you deep fry them straight into cooking oil without any batter, you don't boil the Inca no Mezames. Once the deep frying is done, you toss them into a stew. Where are we going with this? That is the recipe I use for when I make cream stew. Okay, I've been living at an apartment. Oh, oh, so we got the view of jo Jobin right here. Okay, I've been living at an apartment I rented nearby, so I brought a full pot of cream stew I made. Oh, it's my son's favorite, and yesterday Jobin told me he'd really like to have some again. All right, oh, what's she about to do? Hey, there's no wrath matching a woman's scorn. You get what I'm saying? Or is it there's no scorn matching a woman's wrath? Something like that. Okay, what's on? Don't go near him. All right, so... Oh. Toru's about to get her. His name is Toru. He's trying to touch his hand to you. You can't let him touch any part of your body. All right, so technically she has to avoid him. 
Oh, okay. I see where this is going. There's this fruit called a new broken kind. He just ate one of them. Anyone who eats one will undergo an equivalent exchange with the first one they touch, and it will fully heal any illness or wound. He's trying to do an equivalent exchange to heal his injuries. All right, so Kato is just now looking. She sees the pirate there. M Mama! Uh-oh. We got the Higashikata siblings right there. Okay, Mama. Mom, what did you get here? You kids, stay there. Don't come over here. I... I just want to be with Jobin. I want to be my son's side. I want to be by my son's side. He'll be lonely if he's alone. I hate the fact that his death was so anticlimactic earlier in them parts right there. I was like, oh, he just might be bleeding profusely because that's what JoJo characters do. Then I was told he died, and I'm like, oh, well, really? Right there, though? <laughs> Kato-san, get away. Don't go near him. He's already lost. If you leave him alone, he'll just die. It'll be over. If you don't do anything, he's finished. There's nothing left we can do. Huh, but... Maybe we could use him to help heal Sarugi. I don't know. Let's keep going though. All right, so now he's knocking down the tools. All right, so now he got a tool. Uh oh, looks like he's about to hurt Kato. Where are we going with this? Uh, all right, so now he has a weapon, but he's barely hanging on right now. He's a rock human and a stand user. I understand how you feel, Kato san, but you need to get away from him atop the coastal cliffs. Oh, what is he saying? Or is that her talking? I'm assuming that's her. Oh, that's him talking. There's a rock atop some other rocks. Kato Gashikata san. What that rock witnesses is only dreams and memories. Memories of the landscape from those scenic cliffs. Clear skies, rainbows after storms, mist, the beacons of lighthouses, m migratory birds, and gulls. Glenia plants. What? Where are we going? <laughs> only those dreams remain. That which remains when it ends. Mm, wait, 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 wait. It's just highlighted in red. That which remains when it ends. I guess the memories and whatever. All right. The dreams and the memories. Defeat or victory mean nothing to that rock on top of those cliffs. But what about the dreams and memories of all of you? Okay, I kind of like where this is going. Let's keep going though right now. Your precious other son is laying there in a hallway covered in blood. Dead. Without his desires ever coming true. Ooh. 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 He's... Ooh. I don't like where this is going. <laughs> He, he's uh, agitating her. What's it called when you instigate? He, he's kind of like agitating her right now. What do you all have left in the end of the dreams and memories of your family? Uh oh, it looks like she's getting some playing cards. That looks like she's about to throw one at Toru. Or she threw one at Toru. All right. Uh, okay, it just fell flat in front of Toru. Okay, I'm trying to see where this goes. All right, so now she's just crying. Okay. Ah, ah, those are. Wait, wait. What's happening? What are these things bouncing towards her? All right, space track trucking. What space trucking? Okay, let's keep going. That is my stand's name. Ooh, ooh. That stand design is pretty hard. I'm not gonna lie. That stand design is pretty hard right there. Ooh, my card's abilities. Okay, so it's called space trucking. Okay, that's a weird name, but I don't know. That might be a musical reference or something. Okay, no, don't attack him. He's learning you over on purpose. He's using your anger and sadness to get to his advantage. Don't fall for it. The wounds he received from Joe Scar Sears, he can't recover from that. But that rock human's ability is definitely still alive. His wonder of you. If you take his invitation, calamities will immediately attack you. You'll be on a one way highway to hell. <laughs> a one way highway to hell. Okay. <laughs> All right, so now the Gashikata siblings are looking. Kato Gashikata Slime. Oh, he He's, mm, he's poking a bear right now. <laughs> I know the rumors about your past. 15 years ago, you killed some obnoxious boy for your eldest son, Jobin's sake. Even though you atoned for your crime in prison, your husband, Norske, still will not forgive for... Well, Jesus, I cannot read right now. <laughs> your husband, Norske, still will not give you forgiveness, even though you did it out of love. So what sort of memories do you have left now? Only of cruelty. None of the dreams Jobin held when he was alive were ever realized. Mmm calling him a failure Ooh, you can't call her son a failure in front of her especially when you were the reason that he died let's keep going because this is getting intense right now all right so now she's looking we see a playing card come out we see one it looks like it's setting on top of toru but i wonder what it's gonna do what is her ability all right wait 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 why well, look like it healed him up though oh no it didn't heal him up because it weighed him down oh this must be some type of gravity effect Gravity, huh? Gravity, like oh boy Johnny. Okay, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, let's keep going though. All right, but yeah, he just got pushed down really hard. <laughs> oh no, she she did it. Uh, uh. Oh oh, what is about to happen now? Oh no, don't kill son. Oh no 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 no. Wait wait, he's stabbing the card. What happens if he stabs the card? Cause I don't know what this imagery is symbolizing right now. But let's keep going because this is getting interesting right now. All right, space trekking. Can hide things in the space between a card and another card. Uh, 
no, look, hold up, hold up. You can hide things in between the space of a card and another card. Wait, is this kind of like, no, this isn't like Valentine's ability, right? Where if you just go between two things, you go into another dimension, right? No, or another, another world, technically. Well, can hide things in a space between a card and another card. They may appear to be being crushed, but they're just hidden. Oh, and you you shouldn't be attacking him. Also, is this kind of like wake up people's ability or we cop people, wake up people, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. The guy from Steel Ball Run who was also a Steel Ball user himself. But it's when he hits you with the left ataxia attack or whatever. Yeah, your side is still there, but you can't see it, nor can you really feel it to actually know what's happening on that side. Is it kind of like that where it's like a mind thing where it tricks your brain into thinking that, you know, you don't feel it or you can see it but it's actually there uh, you shouldn't be attacking him uh, run or some calamity will come you've got to get away from here now uh, uh oh so we see the branch still let's keep going oh no wonder if you just popped right back up right here i wonder if he actually disappeared and he's not in multiple places now or is it like multiple of them still but yeah i like the fact that he still got that little chunk out of his hat from earlier from what uh, our girl Kate did. thank you but let's keep going all right ah uh, ah uh, Hospital director, he's here. Oh, Kato's crying. You've got to get away from him, Kato-san. Oh yeah, his hand is right by her foot. Oh my gosh, get away from, get far away from him right now. All right, wait, is she about to touch him? How's this? Aren't I close? How do you feel? Do you want to touch me? I don't intend on attacking you. Right now, I just use those cards to keep your arms and legs from moving and keep you pinned to the floor. Ooh, okay, I like where this is going. Right now, I am explaining. Wait, 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 okay, so let me go back to this because I don't think I'm getting it fully right now. Can hide things in a space between a card and another card. They may appear to be being crushed, but they're just hidden. Can hide things in a space between a card and another card. Can hide the space. So this kind of reminds me of, um, it reminds me of the opposite of what, um, uh, the idiot from, um, the idiot from part four. Dang, I'm not being able to get his name right now, but Nijimura, uh, I forgot his name. Dang, I forgot his name. But yeah, it's kind of reminding me of that when his ability with the hand where it erases space. This one is hiding space instead between a card and another card. They may appear to be being crushed, but they're just hidden. All right, let's keep going though, because I got to see where this is going right here. For your sake, about the contents of my stand ability. Okay, she's about to explain it to us. Good. All right. So now we see Wonder of You looking stunned right now. That new Rokuka, I heard about how its gra branch was grafted onto that plot potted plant from my son Jobin. I already know about it. Okay, good. That makes sense. That that makes complete sense that she knows about it. I know it could fully heal injuries through equivalent exchange. She she has no will to attack. All right. So now she's Toru's just. He's just trying to get out of there at this point. Kato Gajikata, can it be you have some other aim, a different goal from the one I'm thinking about? Why did you show yourself here in this garage in the first place? Yeah, I wonder why. Why did you come here? Goal? My goal is already decided. I've decided what I'm going to do. Before that, I'm just gauging something. I'm gauging which way we're going to go. Okay, what does she mean by that? I gotta see. Okay, so now she's getting a, she's getting something from in between the cards right here. Toru's looking scared. Why is he looking scared? Kato-san, Kato Gashikata, your stand. You may have something between the cards of your stand, don't you? What do you have in there? Wait, 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 where's this going? Because look at how Wonder of You is behind her. All right, so now she's getting something from in between the stand. I mean, in between the cards. Okay, what is this metal thing? All right, so she's putting... Wait, 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 wait. She's... That's Jobin right there. Okay, wait, are we going back? Okay, so Jobin is putting a pin on his thing. He imbued heat. He was taking it out of his wrist. I forgot the cuffling. It looks like a cuffling. He was taking the cuffling out, putting Speed King's ability on it. Ah, dang it, Jobin, come here. Let me help you with those cuffs. Oh, wait, but no, I was going the wrong way about this. Turn your sleeve this way. All right, so he's still putting the cuff links on technically dear there's something bothering you isn't there there's something you can't make a decision about huh no uh hey joe pull yourself together don't be hesitant can you really enjoy a summer vacation like that come now your mother knows save your whimpers for later for now tell mom what you're hiding all right so now joe looking all right joe trying to hold his emotions in it looks like he's looking around oh he's closing everything this is something no one else knows about i'm sure of it but right now anyway i'm sure before long someone is going to come an enemy will come to us because all stand users are attracted to each other. Kato's looking in confusion. All right, so we see the stag beetle. This Miyama stag beetle, the one on the top shelf. Until the last night, it had a broken mandible. Until this morning, that right mandible was broken to pieces. I'm certain it had no right mandible. Okay, mandible. Mom, please look at what's inside this top shelf compartment. This Hercules was in there with it. 
wait, so what is it? What, is, what are we getting at? Like an equivalent exchange might have happened, and there might be more Rokuka growing in the soil. Like what, what's happening? Okay. <laughs> Okay, so now we're looking at beetles right now. The broken lost Miyama's mandible was replaced. It's been healed. And the face of what was once a healthy Hercules has part of it missing. It performed an exchange with the Miyagi's mandible on the cellular level. In other words, by exchanging it for the Miyagi's mandible, the Hercules' face ended up like this. Joven, is this? Look at the lower shelf. Okay. Okay, so there's no... When, when was this? I gotta know what the timeline of this was because it didn't it didn't tell us how many days ago this was, right? It, no, 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 no. Yeah, it just went straight into the. Okay, let's see, because obviously the the broken cut itself has not grown yet. Okay, so now we're looking. You have branches growing on your lower shelf. So then on the shelf above it, are you telling me that this pot of plant, these branches are, this is the thing that Ray Mamazuka, Josuke, and everyone else is after. I got my hands on it during the orchard fire and hit it here. It's the graft of the new Rokuka mom. Most likely the Miyama stag beetle sucked up some of the sap from the skin of the branch that had been jetting out of the lower shelf. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Mr. Graf, okay. Most likely the Miyama stag beetle sucked up some of the sap from the skin of the branch that had been jutting out of the lower shelf. Oh, okay. That's how this engine mandible was fixed. It's a perfect equivalent exchange. It just happened to do an exchange with the healthy Hercules that was in the same shelf. The grafting was a success. All right, new Rokuka, grafting? All right, but I can't keep it here in this cabinet any longer. I want to hide it somewhere safer. What do you think it would be best? If we attempted to bring it outside, I'm sure we'd get found out. The branches. Ah, Joven, I, I like to clarify what you just said. There's equivalent exchange. You got your hands on this new Rokuka branch and grafted it. Yes, that's right, Mom. And it worked. The Miyama Stag Beetle's injuries saw better. What about the fruit? Shouldn't there be a fruit growing from the new Rokuka branch? That's still to come. We've got the branch. That's all we need. Once it grows, we'll get our hands on the fruit and seeds as well. Okay, so where are the seeds at then, if that's the case? This fire you mentioned, this is the fire in your orchard? Yes, that's right. Everyone else thinks the branch was the loss in the fire, and I can't let them know it wasn't. I certainly look like this person named poor Tom had the branch with him, and he's dead now. But there are enemies out there that aren't, and I'm sure those enemies will eventually come to this house to look for the branch. They'll come to where I am. Just, oh, let me just ask one more time. You obtain this branch alone? Mom, the truth is, there's one other person. All right, it's me and Sarugi. Sarugi also knows about the branch and the fire. Uh oh, Kato looks shocked. This whole event has been really hard for him, and he's already 11 years old now. He might be getting to his limit. Is it a good idea for me to be keeping this potted plant in this house? Maybe if I'm going to grow it in secret, I'd be better off hiding it somewhere else. What should I do? This is what I've been stressing about. M maybe I should tell Dad about the plant. Uh oh, Kato smacked him. Okay, let's see where this goes. I told you to make up your mind, didn't I, Jobin? You're going to get through this on your own. Oh, I don't, I don't like that because maybe in his mind he was like, mm, I gotta kill my dad because of this now, <laughs> which is just so sad. Ah, uh, you can't let your father know about this. Absolutely not. That man is against the idea of equivalent exchange. If you told him it's certain that some enemy would find out, he still has to forgiven us for what happened 15 years ago. But just until even, but just until even a single fruit grows from that branch, with that fruit, will secure the prosperity of our family. It goes without saying that your family's good fortune outweighs ethics. Set your mind on that. Okay, this is getting interesting. Let's keep going. All right, Joman, you've done a fine job to climb as high as you have. I am incredibly proud of you. Just a little further. The Gashikata family must break the curse that has been on us since the time of our ancestors. All right, so now we see all the cards coming out. But wait. Oh, she planted the card. Oh. And it looks like it's getting weighed down, but it's a space in between that she's that's hiding. Wait, wait, wait. So there was more than one like little branch that was growing? Okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going. All right. If a time comes when you want to hide the pot of plant, this should suffice. For now, continue to grow it in the room, Joby. All right. So now, what's coming from under the cards? Ooh. What is it between those cards? All right. So now Kato's crying. My family's cursed. And now, you will undertake all of it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. I, I, 
I just didn't see it coming. I just did not see that. Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't see that coming at all. A Rocky, you sly dirty dog. I thought she was gonna show us like a hidden fruit or something. She had Sarugi in between the cards, and now Sarugi is about to do an equivalent exchange with Toru. I was literally telling you guys how it is exactly about to happen if all the fruit are gone. Oh, I didn't think about that. Oh, man. GG's, Toru. And Sarugi wasn't pursuing Toru either? Oh, GG's. Oh, GG's. But now we see Sarugi falling out of the cards. And now they're doing the equivalent exchange, Sarugi and Toru. Oh my gosh. This had to be crazy monthly reading this. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, oh. Sarugi-chan, mama, wh what? This was Kato-san's goal. She came to the garage for Sarugi-chan to perform an equivalent exchange. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, this was tasty. Oh, oh that was Oh, no. okay. Stand name, space trucking, the ability to store things in a space created between individual playing cards. If you have all the cards together, you can hide quite a lot between them. The user is Kato Gachikata, 52 years old, and we see space trucking right here. Oh, man. Oh, man. That was a good chapter. Oh, that was good. Oh, that was good. But let's go ahead and talk about these two chapters that we just read. I did not expect for Kato to come so in clutch later on within Jojolian. Now, I do want to say that I feel like this was wasted potential earlier on because she has such a unique stand ability, but this was such a reveal to have happened right here because we didn't know what exactly she was going to bring to the table. And obviously, whatever she was going to bring to the table, Rocky was going to write in some way for her to be able to help everybody and for us to get that little ace in the hole, basically. You get what I'm saying? So, mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. this is kind of like the opposite of Okiyasu. That's his name. I was trying to look for his name, but I just couldn't remember it. But this is kind of like the opposite of Okiyasu, where she's creating a space hitting in between the cards. Okiyasu erases the space. I, I don't know. Let me know if I'm cooking or if I'm burning the food. Oh, oh, I didn't expect this. I mean, I didn't know what to expect because we didn't know Kato's stand ability already. And she already wasn't that big of a player from early on. I mean, technically what she did helped played a big role within the events of what happened technically because of what she did with Jobin's bully and where that ended up. You know, Jobin was able to do what he did. Jobin had that that motivation coming from a supportive parent. She's a big player in that sense, but she wasn't a big player in the story overall until this moment right here, because I mean, we had to find a way to get the sickness out of Sarugi because Sarugi, he was he was at the end of it. Like Sarugi was getting hit with that whole disease. All the Roku were gone. This bastard Toru ate the last one as the villain that he is. We just did not know where this was gonna go. But the fact that now, actual equivalent exchange it didn't happen like through a sacrifice of someone willingly taking it it happened through a different type of equivalent exchange which is also crazy in itself so it's like yes the disease had to have the equivalent exchange happen to get it out of the other person but this equivalent exchange the way it happened was through the rokuka itself from the grafting of what joseph fume did all the way at the beginning well technically in the flashback of jojolian so yeah oh and the fact that we had another hidden spin or hidden bubble hit Toru again? Oh my gosh. Yes. Yes. We're eating. Yes. I don't know what else to say. The fact of this is a second to last read through is crazy to me because this is the longest part of JoJo's so far at the time of this recording right here. This was intense. This was good. I was getting nervous because I'm like, what is Kato about to do? Because it looked like she was just about to touch Toru and just let all hell break loose. But man, this was this was crazy. This was this was intense. I just wonder what the next three chapters are about to be about because it's like I feel like we're at the end. But I also said that about Steel Ball Run. And we had a whole secret boss. So maybe we might have a whole secret boss in this part. I don't know. I could be wrong. I'm just speculating right now. But that's what all I have to say about these two chapters I read. They were great. 
fun. It was a bit of a butt pull because we never knew Kato's stand ability at the beginning. So Araki was able to write anything in for them to be able to win in this part right here because whatever she was planning, it was going to get them to get that clutch win right there. But let me know what you think about this video down in the comment section down below. Like I said, thank you guys for watching. If you are new to the channel, you haven't already, like the video, hit the subscribe button, post notification bell, and you got a Patreon. Lowest tier as a dollar. You can see pages weeks ahead of time and I'm blurred. And trust me, we're about to be at the end. So if you want to go ahead and do that, then do that. But yeah, as usual, Jojolian playlist right here and latest video right here. Like I said, thank you guys for watching. Dark Sage out. Peace.